Bookkeeping Confidential here with you today. We are a full service bookkeeping firm and are here to bring profit to your business and eliminate the time and burden of bookkeeping from you. Our contact information is here if you'd like to jot that down and reach out to us or please visit our website by bookkeepingconfidential.com and click on the contact tab. Today we're going to talk about undeposited funds. If you're new to QuickBooks or any kind of bookkeeping, undeposited funds can be something of a challenge. So let's go over here to QuickBooks. We have our sample company. And I want to show you on the balance sheet where you're going to find that you have undeposited funds. And this just means that the money in QuickBooks is not in the bank. So let's get how this happens. You're going to go, as always, you want to invoice your client. This is how to prevent undeposited funds. I like Amy's Sanctuary. And another little thing over here, you notice this popped up when I hit Amy's Bird Sanctuary. That just means that there's some pending charges that has not been invoiced to her yet. So let's go ahead and do that. This is a good reminder. So she's got to pay for this custom design. And then we're going to add some gardening to it. Okay. So Amy owes us a total of $600. Save and close. Okay. Now you're going to, Amy's paid you by check. You're going to receive payment. Amy, payment date, check. And we invoiced her the $600. So we're going to pay her that. And we want to make sure it says deposit to undeposited funds. Okay. Want that filled in there. Save and close. Then you're going to go over back to the plus sign, bank deposit. These are checks that you probably have sitting on your desk that need to get into the bank. So we're going to click on them. And it's going to total $2,662.52. And that should balance what's sitting on your desk save and close. There you go. You have now handled your undeposited funds. It's now zero. Thank you and I look forward to hearing from you.